Yes then YouTube, we are back. Fresh trim, fresh custom tactics. What a time to be alive. Of a formation, by the way, that has been what I call your bread and butter for many and many and many a year. And of course, that is the 43 one. And I have to admit, YouTube, this formation is probably one of, if not the best at this moment in time on FC24. It's perfectly well rounded. You've got the striker, the three cams, the two CDMs, which I love having. It gives us more defensive solidity. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the tactics. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. So you are going to want to use balance on the defensive style, YouTube. Like I've been saying in all my videos recently, pressure on heavy touch is a viable option. But with defending being a little bit more difficult than it is in this moment in time, well, on previous FIFAs anyway, you're probably going to want to stay away from it at this moment. It could change in the future, of course, when we learn how to defend properly on FC24. Of course, that can change in the future. Of course, it can. But right now, YouTube, balanced is 100% the way to go. That then brings us nicely onto the width. Now, I actually don't really change too much with the 4-2-3-1. I really, 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 really like it. So, I have gone with 45 on the width. Now... You, of course, like I always say in all my videos, defending's not easy on this FC24. So we do want our left back to be a little bit closer and a little bit tighter to our left centre back. We're going to want to have our right back, again, a little bit closer and tighter together to our right centre back. And that, in general, just makes all of our back four a little bit tighter, leaving less gaps for our opponent to exploit. It's really, really, really effective and something that I 100% recommend for you to try. The depth, YouTube, this is where it gets interesting and you need to look me in the eyes when I'm telling you this, okay? There is two options you can have. Option one is the option that I think 90% of you should probably use and that is up in the depth to 60. Now, even though defending is a little bit hard, on FC24, because we do have two CDMs in the 4-2-3-1, we can afford to be a little bit more aggressive with our defensive line and our defensive structure because we do have that defensive solidity of the two CDMs anyway. So I really, really, really am liking 60 depth, but something that I've been trying in the last few days, and it is very, very, very broken at the minute, and you might think that this is very scary, but trust me, YouTube, give it a try. 72 depth. Now, you might think this is a little bit YOLO. And it might seem like that at the start. But what it does, it actually, on new gem, automates the press of your team. So you don't even have to have team press on. You just have that 72 depth and you will be putting your opponent under pressure all the time. Just give it a try. Let me know what you think. Right now, with the 4-2-3-1, I am using 72 depth. Up until a day ago, I was using 60 depth. So they both work and are both effective. So that's why I'm giving you the two options. So option one, 60 depth. Option two, 72 depth. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you prefer. That then brings us nicely onto the offense. Of course, yes, YouTube, you guessed it. Balanced and diet passing. It's never ever, ever going to change at this moment in time. And that is on new gen and old gen as well. It just works. It's effective. It's broken. It's the meta. Whatever word you want to call for it, YouTube, it just simply works. So because of that, I'm using and abusing it. Trust me, I wish I weren't using it because I just wish I was using something different. But it, it works. It's broken. So that's what I'm using. The width on the 4231, I actually leave on 50. So there is method to the madness. I just really, really, really like where my lamb and my ram are anyway. I do YouTube. I just really, really, really like it. I think they're in a really good spot. They're not too wide, but they're also not too narrow. They're just in a very, very, very good spot for me. So because of that, I'm using the 50 width. Use and abuse it. Players in the box. Yep, you guessed it. Seven. Method to the madness with that is all players. Well, the more players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal. And if you actually look on the graph... You see we've got four players in the box. That will, of course, be the striker and the three cams. So when we have the ball, all three of our, well, all four of our attackers, including our three cams, will get into the box, just making it easier to score opportunities, really. It really is just that simple. Last but not least, YouTube, of course, the corners and free kicks down from three and three to two and two. That then brings us nicely onto the playing instructions. But before we get into that, YouTube, please drop this video a like for me. And hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. We're well on the way to 30k. So do it. Do it, do it, do it. The striker. Stay central and get in behind. Now, the getting behind is so, so, so key. Because 
even if we don't play the ball to our striker when he's making that run in behind, that then leaves a lot of space and a lot of gap for our central cam to operate in. And in my opinion, in the 4-2-3-1, this central cam is the most important player on the pitch. So stay central and getting behind on the striker. And you've got to remember, YouTube, having the striker on stay central as well, the striker won't leave anywhere from the 18, the width of the 18-yard box, which is good because then it leaves more opportunities for our striker to score goals. Our striker is not going to be scoring goals when he's playing out on the right wing or playing out on the left wing, is he? We need our striker to be in the centre of the pitch in that centre circle. That's where we need him to be. That is where he is going to do the most damage. That then brings us very nicely onto the middle cam. So the middle cam YouTube is on comeback on defence. And the most important thing that you can have him on is get into the box for cross. I was very much experimenting having the cam on free roam like I had on the... Um, I can't remember what video it was that I did the other day. But I had free... Oh, the 4-3-3-4. Having that cam on free roam really did help. But in the 4-2-3-1, I didn't really notice much of a difference with it, YouTube, if I'm being real. So I've kind of just left him on that comeback on defence and get into the box for cross. The get into the box for cross, YouTube, is so, so, so important. I cannot express to you how important that is the reason being it just gives him more license to pretty much does what it says on the tin make runs into the penalty area in crossing situations he will get into the box and like i always say to you when the cam is getting into the box to score goals he's going to score goals isn't he it really is that simple that then brings us nicely onto the ram and the lamb and actually i, I didn't actually realize this all three of my cams are on the exact same thing so all three of them the middle cam the lamb and the ram they are on comeback on defense and get into the box for cross remember defending is probably the hardest thing on fc24 so having the lamb and the ram help out with the back four and the two cdms really 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 does help our defensive structure and defensive solidity and then the fact that they are also on get into the box for cross is pretty much like it says on the tin they will get into the box in them attacking situations giving us just more options and more creativity and passing options in the box to score more goals this is where you need to use a little bit of your own initiative youtube so i use my right cdm on stay back while attacking and cover center, but then have my left CDM just on cover center. So my left CDM is on balanced attack and cover center. It doesn't matter if your right CDM is the one that's on balanced attack and your left CDM is the one that's on stay back while attacking. Just as long as the more defensive minded CDM that you've got is the one that's obviously on stay back while attacking. And then the more attack minded CDM that you have, as long as that one is the one that's on balance attack, because they will venture forward a little bit. They won't completely YOLO up front, They're like they won't do that. They won't venture too far away from that CDM. They'll probably step up another 5, 10 yards just to give a little bit of offensive structure to it. Just to help out a little bit in the attacking third. But they won't be YOLO like if they're on get forward. I, I really like it. I feel like it's very needed in the 4-2-3-1. Both YouTube, my left back and my right back are on stay back while attacking. I do not attack with my full backs when I'm using the 4-2-3-1. I don't know why. I just don't really feel like it's needed. I've never felt the urge to. So both my left back and my right back are on stay back while attacking. And then last but not least, YouTube, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is my brand new 4-2-3-1 custom tactics for you on my road to glory. YouTube, please drop this video a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.